I'm Michelle Lenchenko, and this is my dad, Nick Lenchenko. We live in Union City, California, in the East San Francisco Bay Area. In the summer of 2020, I had to have the vet come to the house to put my parents' chihuahua to sleep. They lasted about a month uh, before my mom said, we need another dog. And at the time, my mom was, uh, was going through um, chemo for myeloma, which is blood cancer. She missed having a little dog by her side. And my dad said, absolutely not. And she and I kind of behind his back were looking at the Humane Society um, pictures online. And uh, one Monday morning, I said, that's the dog. They just put this little black chihuahua on the website. This is the dog. Next thing I know, I've got pictures of my dad with this chihuahua <laughs> and my mom. And then when I came home later, I realized that there was a new dog in my house. And that's finally how I met Poppy. My mom was ill, but it was kind of a sudden loss, the way things happened. As she went into the hospital, we thought she was coming back and she didn't. We've had a lot of struggles in our relationship with running a household together, absorbing roles that she had and trying to go through this grief process and having this common bond with this little dog. I feel like oh, the dog keeps us talking. We've got to take care of this dog. I've got to let him know when I go walk him or I'm going to go somewhere with the dog. At the very base level, it keeps us communicating and um, get through another day. He got me off the couch. He helped me keep me from being depressed. I lost 20 pounds when we first got him <laughs> walking him uh, when my mom was still sick. And then after she passed, um, it just kept me talking to people. He kept me social, kept me active, kept me getting up in the morning. I had a reason to get up and go somewhere. We belong to a dog meetup now. We have places we go where the dog people go, the dog park or different parks we go to. So it kept me moving physically and kept me mentally focused on something. Um, I had a purpose um, to keep me from just sitting there and spending most of my time grieving. Usually a if I'm having a, a bad day or something, he'll come sit on my lap and lick my face. And it just makes me feel comfortable, feel close to my wife. He's been wow. the, world, the world to me. He just, uh, he seems to know that there's something going on. And uh, when I'm feeling the worst is when he is the most loving Basically, just seeing the little cute things he does, the running and the playing. It gives me satisfaction knowing that he's here and he's part of Sandy. He'll do something really funny, and then that gets us back on a level where we're, you know, focused on him and laughing at what he does, and um, it lightens the day. I think it helps us get along better. Grief, it can be difficult and it can be different every day. And the one common thing is Poppy. You just don't know what he's going to do. And it adds a lot of humor to the household, which I think really helps us. All of his little behaviors with the cats, you know, just the little things he does. Having him to deal with during the day, it's, uh, it's taken my mind off. A lot of problems that I've had and it makes me feel good that's the main thing I think he he feels the love so he knows that of course you, you're gonna tell him you know we love you and uh, tell him not not to worry about having to go any place that this is the hope you know, I wasn't ready for a dog. I wanted to wait till I retired and I'm several years out from that. And I know how much work it is and 
with him, it doesn't feel like work. It, it's a lot of responsibility, like my dad said, but it's a it's an addition to my life that I never thought I'd have room for or time for. But he's always on my mind in terms of, you know, wanting to come home and walk him or see him. He's excited to see me every time I come home. It's just effortless. It's a it's a a great relationship with an animal that I I just didn't know that I would have. It's a fun addition to my life and he came at the right time and I'm grateful my mom had some time with him and I'm really grateful we had him after she passed because I just don't know if we'd be able to get through all this without him. I think he's instrumental in, in helping us keep our relationship together as father and daughter and I think he's been instrumental in um, helping us get through this grief journey. He's given me more hope. Uh, think about him all the time. And anytime we go any place or do anything, he's the first one in our thoughts. We want to watch and make sure he's safe. It's a it's a responsibility, but it's a good responsibility because it's it's a crutch for me. And that's it. I wouldn't trade him for anything.